Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to look at installing our shower cubicle. So we're going to put the two halves together and put it into place. We're also going to do the hatch that goes with it as well, the roof hatch. And what we're also going to do is install our Dometic toilet and cut the hole in the bus wall for it. Yep, so the hatch is a vent line 14 inch by 14 inch. Uh, it's the one without the fan. Mm. Um, and the toilet is a Dometic CTS 4110. Mm, all right, so we're just going to cut a hole in our shower cubicle to allow the drains. So what we're doing is we're just putting it on in reverse and then drilling a hole through the center so that we know where the middle is so that I can get a hole dead in the middle, hopefully. Yeah, now that we've cut our drain holes, we have to cut the access door for our toilet. Um, so... We just had to go 12.5 up, 20 in, and then it's 310 by 360. So just like our gas box, this is probably going to be more difficult because we've already put the walls in. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much just going to go layer by layer. Um, yeah, we're just going to sort of work it out as we go. For now, we'll cut our fiberglass shell, which should be fairly straightforward. Once again, like with the water heater, it looks like we're probably going to have to cut through some metal that I don't know if we're allowed to or not, but it's kind of a bit too late to really change the layout too much, so we're just going to have to do it, and if it's a problem, fix it later, but at the moment, this is where the toilet's going to go, so here we go. And because of that, I can't use the jigsaw either, so I have to grind the whole wood. Thankfully, we are someone because after we cut this hole, this looked important. Uh, so we took a couple of photos and asked someone, and yeah, found out that it's it is okay to cut. So I'm gonna get started trying to cut some of this. Um, Claire's bringing some metal jigsaw pieces, which hopefully make our life easier cutting the outside of the bus. But with the outside, with the toilet hatch, you have to preserve it as perfectly as possible because it goes in the hatch and you know sits outside and makes the door for the hatch um, so you can't just drill big holes in it because then you're going to be missing corners um, so I need to clean this up so we can get some tiny drill holes in that way we can mark it up on the outside cut a nice you know square rectangle and yeah go from there small holes similar to what we've done in the past just to find out where our corners and stuff are um, we had to use as small holes as we could because as I said we've got to reuse this um, so yeah I'm just gonna try and start a line with the grinder and then use the jigsaw around it uh, unfortunately we had a handle on the exterior of the bus right in the middle so we've got a hole in what's going to go back on anyway so but we'll seal that up or something and hopefully it'll be all good and while i do that claire's just taping off around our like gas bottle hatch and our hot water system and door and stuff and she's just gonna silicon all that start getting everything uh watertight i should also mention that our toilet came with the dometic 
SK5 access hatch. Apparently there is two, SK4 and SK5, which the instructions has different installation measurements and requirements for the different ones. So just make sure you know which one you have. Alright, so now we've got to draw up the piece of thingo that you cut out to go in the door hatch. So we've decided we're probably going to use the fiberglass cut out of the shower cubicle uh, just because we think it will look nicer. Uh, for all our spells, we've got the piece of metal there as well and yeah, we'll just pick which one looks right. Uh, we're just following the instructions because you have to cut some weird little H-esque symbol. So you're supposed to curve the corners. We couldn't work out how you meant to actually work out how much to curve the corners, so we're just going to wing it. And like with all these Dometic hatches, you just got to put these metal clips around the inside part of the door hatch. Now hopefully we should just be able to push this in from the inside, push the exterior part in from the outside, and it's just going to go into our hole nicely. shave the top of her thing now so let's see if I can get this fixed so we can go home. Yeah we're just putting pop rivets in because it doesn't um doesn't sort of stick as well as we, want, we it to. want it to with just um silicon. It is supposed to be screwless installation though. So we're just doing the same thing that we did with our, oh, pardon me, gas hatch. <laughs> you crap. Um, gas hatch with the aluminium. Aluminium. Uh, we're just building sort of an aluminium box uh, around the gap between the bus wall and our interior wall, uh, where the toilet hatch is. Alright, so it's definitely not quite as nice as our gas box one, but this one doesn't really need to be airtight, so we just wanted it to look prettier than it was, which it does. A lot quicker and a lot cleaner without the silicone. Yep. Alright, so next step on getting our shower ready is we've got to cut the hole in the shower, the roof, and the bus roof for the... Roof hatch? Yep, next event. Yep. Uh, so we just have to draw a 14 and a quarter inch square. square on this. We'll cut it out, then we'll put it up, measure where it is on the bus roof, and then yeah. we'll be able to attach the two halves of our shower cubicle together. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to start doing you know all the plumbing and everything before we put the final walls up. Yeah. Alright, so now that we've cut our hole in the shower cubicle, we're going to mark where in the actual roof it's going to go. So I'm just putting this, uh... Hell so. Anyway, I'll tell you what we're doing even though the battery's dead. Uh, so just putting the hole 
in the corners. You can see that. Uh, and then that will give us our four holes and then we'll be able to draw between them and then cut our holes with the jigsaw. So, same deal, new hole, drill four holes in the corner to make sure they're in the right spot. <laughs> Only do this a thousand and one times a day. So before we put the hatch in, uh, we've got to build the shower. So we've just got a silicon in the joins uh, between the two halves and then screw it together in the holes that it came screwed in. Um, yeah, we had to take it apart when we first got it, so we're just going to use the same holes. We had a gas installer come in the other day uh, and just do some of the gas fittings, uh, mainly to our hot water system, just so we can continue with our shower install. Uh, we originally wanted the piping to run on the bus if possible, but it was going to be a lot harder and a lot more expensive to do that. And given that we've got cupboards and showers and stuff along the driver's side anyway, we figured, yep, let's just run it along the floor. Uh, so this is where our shower is going to go, but he just recommended that over the pipe here because the shower is going to push up against it We just put some rubber or something over it. So we've just got some of this 1.5 mil thick rubber So I'm just gonna tack it on at the pipe there where the shower uh, will touch it and Yeah, then we're gonna put our shower in the place. Uh, we'll go into more detail about the gas install later on probably when it's finished um, But at the moment just showing you the relevant part for where our shower is gonna go. So, because of the curve, <laughs> sorry, I was just oh, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Because of the curve and those raised bits on the roof, um, as you saw, the hatch <laughs> didn't fit super well. Um, so we've done the best that we could come up with. I don't know if there's a more scientific or better way to go about it. I don't know why I said scientific, but you know what I mean. Just a better way to go about it. So we just sort of did the best we could. Uh, now we have to put the other side, the underside in, so it goes like that, and it's just supposed to go into some grooves on the top bit, but it doesn't fit very well. Very well. Mm. Um, the gap between the edge of the shower and the roof is too big, so we're just hoping that once we screw this in, uh, and screw it through the fiberglass into the wood, it'll sort of pull the shower up a little bit, um, and then it will fit. Okay. Mm. So that was good. It did bring it all together um, as much as we wanted it to. So we didn't. We probably didn't do anything wrong. Hopefully, it's probably the challenge that most people mm. go through when they try and put a hatch here, just because of the shape of the bus. Um, but yeah, it managed to work. Um, I'll see if I can bring you in close. 
Out. So I have a look. Ah, <laughs> uh, but we should have siliconed it, and we forgot. So now we've got to just put a silicon around, around the, the around the outside, which we probably would have done anyway. So it's all good. Yay! Alrighty, so I'm going to secure our toilet into our shower cubicle now. Um, so what I've just done is I've measured 651 millimeters high from the base of our um, where the toilet's going to sit. What we then have to do is screw this little mounting bracket into it, um, into the wall. When you screw that in, the toilet then sits over and sort of clips on top of it. Um, and then underneath from outside, you just go and screw it in underneath on the ground. So I'll give you a little look up, a little close up of the measurements and um, I'll put it into place. So now that I've put it on from the front, I've had to come underneath into the cassette area and screw it in with six screws to the ground. So one here on either side, one, which one was it? Oh, here on either side, just under that plug there and right up the back there on either side as well. So now that that's done, it comes with these, not that you need them, these little covery things just slots in there like that and it just protects the screws and makes it easier to slide in and out as far as I understand it should there we go just click into place just like that beautiful bit dusty but Otherwise, it's all in place and I'll take you around and show you the other side. So you can see from our toilet that there's a little gap here. So what we've done is we've contacted um, Hugo Newens, which is the, the guy that sold us our shower cubicle from Custom Coaster Conversions. He said that what he does is he actually gets some um, really long screws, pops them in through each of the corners there, which pulls it in tight together. So he actually said he doesn't use the little back piece there that we put on. Instead he uses these screws. So I'm going to try and put these in and hopefully pull it together a bit tighter. So as you can see, it's pulled it nice and close. Up tight against our shower cubicle wall, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, these pieces are just from Bunnings. We bought them individually. They're a dollar forty each. They're 8G by, I think it was 150, 140, 150 mil. Um, a star head piece there which we've just used that piece there pre drill a hole pop them in there's nothing in under these corners on the toilet so all it's done is go into the fiberglass at the back and pull it in tight and it worked happy days all right so that's it for this video uh yeah we got our toilet installed we got the vent installed and we got the shower into place uh, Next up, we're going to be building all the, the walls and look at the plumbing and sort yeah, of. I don't remember exactly what, what order. Yeah, what what's next? We're sitting in the completed bus at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I haven't I haven't really looked at it. As far as the shower is concerned, we're still going to do the walls and we've got to put the door in. Uh, so I believe that's going to be next, putting the walls and the front wall and the special door in uh, that we got for it. Um, and then yeah, we've got to look at putting the like shower head and the, the mixer and everything in um, If you found this video useful, please like subscribe and share and until next time. Thank you